Hey everyone, it's Ivan with Badger.com. Out here to kind of talk chest rigs, the Mark V chassis from Spirit of Systems, as well as kind of some other things in that whole suite. If you saw my other video a while back now on the Spiritus Microfight chassis, I believe it was the Mark III. And since then, there have definitely been some changes. We're now at, I believe, the Mark V. And that one, probably one of my favorite chest rigs a number of reasons. One, the modularity with it, and two, the fact that it's multi-game alpine, which probably one of my favorite patterns. So I ran into those guys again at SHOT Show. Ended up getting this set up here. I want to say I got this back in 2022, maybe 2023. I lose track of time. But basically, again, whole suite of different things that they make with respect to pouches and setups. So we'll look at this one right here. This right here being the Mark V Microfight chassis, tons of modularity. And so while you can use it with its own, basically a back strap going around, as well as H harness or one of the other harness styles, you can also use it with their other stuff. So by way of example, this right here coming out to the side, this is the, I wanna say thing two. And so you essentially have radio pockets, i go over those more in a minute, but you also have these panels where you can attach things like other pouches, this right here being a GP pouch. And for a while, I actually had one of the JSTA, just a pouches mounted over here. Worked well for me if I needed a lot of gear up top. And then the front of this, well, there is Velcro, so you can put sweet patches like this one, actually glows in the dark from Black Triangle Group, you can mount mag patches out there. So the older one, again, that I had experience with being the Mark III, basically two kangaroo pouches, one in front of the other. So you could put mag inserts in both, one, whatever you wanna do. This is now just one, but the option of actually mounting mags across the front if you need more mags, or you can basically put this pouch, which goes all the way across the front, put whatever you want in there. Then down here, I want to say like Dangler Mark III maybe. I get lost in nomenclature, but you put stuff in here by way of example. In front, I got some Kim lights, and then this back pouch basically serves as a med kit. So in here I have all of the things to do some work, to include band-aids, because little cuts are real also. And then down on the bottom, you can of course attach a tourniquet. Right here, I have one of the RMTs. Going back to that nomenclature, this right here, I want to say is the CCS pouch. Do not remember what it stands for. Probably something, I'm sure it's an acronym. This guy right here is the SAC Mark III, I'm pretty sure. But tons of acronyms, I always get lost in them. Something I really appreciate about Spiritus though is modularity and inner compatibility with other things. I remember back in the day, I want to say one of the first kind of chest rigs I was looking at was by Mayflower and it worked with their plate carrier and that was like completely novel idea. There might have been someone before it, I don't remember. That was the first I saw when I was actually looking for a plate carrier while I was contracting back in probably 2011, something like that, maybe 2012. And I ended up actually getting a JPC, which was a great plate carrier, 1.0, that thing was great. Fast forward, you have Spiritus and everything's basically a la carte to include basically all your different straps too, like this guy right here, which is your back strap. Again, simple strap goes around. And this harness, I wanna say is the fat strap like Mark IV, which I do appreciate just how wide it is. It does a good job, especially if you have essentially just crossing pieces of webbing Ultimately, they end up wearing on your neck, whereas this stays the dimension it is off of your neck and does a good job of distributing weight. And going back to modularity, being able to use different things to include other manufacturers with Spiritus stuff. So while you can use their inserts, which are largely just elastic, this one right here, being set up for 308, like SR25 mags, got my scar mags in there. This is a three mag insert from Lunar Concepts. Again, there's no free lunch. So 
thing I like about the Spiritus inserts is they're just elastic. So if you end up pulling all your mags out, basically there's nothing keeping it out. It can go ahead and lay flat. Whereas this, it will not lay flat, but makes it easier to index. Again, goes back to what you want in kind of your mission. As I mentioned, the CCS pouch can go straight across that Mark V chassis. That's how this one is set up right here that I'm wearing. And depending, getting you a big Velcro field. And fortunately, the industry is standardized on basically the spacing of these buckles, which comes into play a different or a couple different ways. One, you can clip this into most any modern plate carrier to include all the Spiritus plate carriers. And then since you have Velcro across the front, that cummerbund comes over, secures right there, and you're good to go. This one, thing two, pretty sure it's the thing two, you can place radios or other things in these pouches. So this guy can go down in there like that. And then depending on the size of the radio, you can adjust the shock cord, crank that thing down. And the thing that I really love is you're basically getting everything a la carte. So depending on the setup that you want or maybe something that you already have, for example, you can basically piece it together to fit whatever your paradigm is, like your mission. By way of example, this being the Microfight chassis, Mark V, as well as a CCS pouch, I ended up with these little two different size expander wings. I think that's what they're called by Lunar Concepts. So I could run a radio pouch and I can run a tourniquet. And then this, I want to say, is their X, HX hybrid harness, something like that. Pretty much piece together whatever you want, still using that Microfight chassis by Spiritus Systems. Which brings me to what has been my use with kind of all this stuff and how's it done for me? Well, it's done awesome. I've used it on a number of different occasions, whether it's just training out at the range, putting in some reps, or shooting it in different types of courses, like carbine courses, things like that. And then also this setup right here actually used in the Amtec shooting Modern Minutemen course. So in that, I actually had the just a pouch over on this side and I had all the gear I needed loaded into this thing and it did a great job in that course or competition as well. So who do I think this stuff is good for? Well, honestly, it fits a lot of roles. Whether you're looking for something like this chassis to just go over the top of your plate carrier, modularity, or to be able to pull it off your plate carrier, throw it on some straps and run as a chest rig. You can do all those things. Not to mention, it's not set up for a magazine. So you can put different inserts in there, whether you're running something heavy, 6.5 Creedmoor, 308, or 5.6, 3 and a blackout, different mag inserts, however you want to do it. And you can also just go down the road of, hey, I already have this, so let me add this onto it. Like, right here. You can either put something here or not on this thing too. And just add things, take them away as you need them. Same with this pouch. You can actually mount this onto your plate carrier. Now you have basically a hanging med kit, which is pretty handy. So yeah, I think honestly it kind of fits a lot of roles. Price-wise, all different prices for different pieces. I want to say the Microfight chassis Mark V around 50 bucks. I think the fat straps around 50 bucks. This SAC Mark III, I think it is. Get lost in all the nomenclature. Pretty sure it's around like 65 bucks. Again, different prices for different pieces. All of it really solid, made here in the US, very compliant, and yeah, stuff's rugged. If you're interested, there'll be links to all of these things down below. You can go check them out and yeah, Pretty rad setup. And last but not least, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. One of the ways is just liking and sharing videos or going over to my Patreon. You can support my content, little as a dollar a month, helps me go out, create more content for you. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.